Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the books I read in 2023. And I'm also going to be telling you my ratings on them. Uh, I would just say a few things about them. Not so deep because damn, they are a lot. So my goal for 2023 was to read 50 books and guess what <laughs> i read 113 or 114 books that shocked me because i was like i said a goal of 50 and i did more than that so it feels good okay it feels good so these books are not in any particular order okay i just brought them down from the shelf anyhow so i'm just gonna be telling you my ratings one true loves by taylor jenkins read this was a four star read for me i really enjoyed the story i just didn't really like how she dragged them along daisy jones and the six oh my god this was a five star read for me it talks about people in music when i was reading this i kept imagining janice joplin freddie mercury and all those people's lives but it also talks about music culture and drugs their relationship with drugs and how their music are i really really love this my little rising also a five star read for me it was a very different kind of book and i didn't expect to like it so much oh my god karisoto is back this is a six star read for me guys six freaking stars i really loved this with all my heart and i can't let go of this book i cried highly suspicious and unfairly cute by talia herbert this is my first book by talia herbert it was a four star read for me it was very very cute very cute you know a thousand boy kisses by tilly cole it was 4.5 stars i really liked it i cried also but i just didn't like the fact that they were so young icebreaker by anna grace i bought this because of the hype and it's a 3.5 star read for me i enjoyed the story i love the found family in it i love their relationships i just didn't like the fact that at one point the plot was forgotten like the smut overshadowed the plot we totally drove away from the plot like to the point that i forgot what we're even talking about one last stop by casey mcqueenstein this was my first casey mcqueenstein book and i gave it a three stars i love the concept of the book but i just get felt like it was quite too long and it was a little bit boring and i could not put myself in any one of them shoes but I still enjoyed the concept, you know. It's about a girl that was stuck in another time. Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. I gave this one a 4.5 stars. It talks about people of color and how they are navigating their life in their occupation. They had a very, very rough start in the beginning. It was actually really exciting. It's just that in the beginning, I was confused most of the time. The story was not easy to understand. And as I continued, it was, you know better the silent patient by alex michaelidis this was a five star read for me but now that i think about it i think it was more like a 4.5 star for me because it was a little bit boring but i still enjoyed the plot twist it was very very mad you and me on vacation by emily henry this was a three star read for me it's a friends to lovers romance it was boring also scandalized by ivy owens this was written by lauren from Christian and Lauren. This was a five star read for me. This book is 90% smart, but the plot was not a difficult one to follow and we did not deviate from the plot, you know? And I was almost in a book slump when I read this, so it really, really helped. A Little Life by Hanya Yanahira. This was a 4.5 star read for me. Guys, this book is deep and very, very crazy. You need to check out the trigger warnings. If you are not in a good mental state, you should not read this book. The XX by Erin Sterling. This was a four star read for me. It was just a very cute Halloween kind of book with witches. She mistakenly exed her ex boyfriend. Uh, it led to some things in the city. Better than the movies by Lynn Painter. This is my first Lynn Painter book. I really, really enjoyed this one. It's a YA book. It talks about Wes and Liz. I really, really liked Wes, you know. This enemies to lovers kind of vibe. Happy Place by Emily Henry. Another 4.5 star read. Even though the book was a little bit draggy. And there was also a part where I didn't like where she was all saying you, you, you. I really liked the whole friendship they had in this book. I liked the fact that they were all working towards keeping their relationships. Things We Do Not Tell the People We Love. I think I gave this one a four star. Um, it's a collection of short stories. Um, one of the stories in it in particular pissed me the F out. The one about the mother and the daughter where the daughter just left her without any reason. I didn't really like that. Remember Me by Sophie Kinsella. Four star read for me. But now that I think about it, I think it's more like a 3.5. I'm Glad My Mom Died by Janet McCordy. This is a memoir. It was 
really really sad reading so many things that happened to her i gave it a five star even though i feel like i'm not supposed to be judging somebody's life you know the love hypothesis love on the brain and love theoretically they are all talking about women in stem trying to be better the love hypothesis was a four star for me love on the brain was five stars and love theoretically was 4.5 stars i don't even know which one is my favorite to be quite honest oh my god these three books by helen huang um the kiss coach and the bride test and the heart principle these three books are five stars for me to talk about people that are autistic and how they find love and how they feel basically the folk of air series and how the king of all fame learned to eat stories so the three of them are five stars this was a four star but this book was actually very very good also it talks about jude and cardon it was intense shatter me unravel me and unite me i want to say untie me shatter me and unravel me i gave them five stars each because these books are very very fast paced and they are novella destroy me and fracture me here i gave each of them four stars so this book is a four star read before the coffee gets cold and before the coffee gets cold tales from the cafe they are time travel kind of book where you can time travel to the past or to the present in this cafe and it was sad because you tend to see there are reasons for time traveling and i really liked it this was a i think this was a three three point five and this one was a uh four star read i really i don't know which one of them to be honest i'm confused at this point the twisted series guys the twisted series twisted love twisted games twisted eight and twisted lies i really really love this series this one was four stars five stars 4.5 and 4.5 the flash hair by beto larry this was a four star read for me the no show by beto larry also uh 3.5 star for me but to be quite honest i really love this book it made me cry but it was just a little bit confusing and boring in the beginning i also keep your family by Mecca bella maki uh i dnf'd this book at page 80. rachel's holiday by Mir miriam case this is a book i wish i actually dnf'd but i did not dnf i gave it a three stars i felt like it was too long and ugh. Conversations with Friends by Sari Bruni also DNF'd at page 160 because I felt like they just entered into these people's lives and just destroyed their lives, I guess. Praise by Sarah Kate. This was a four star read for me. It was my first time reading about BDSM kind of sh the 18 game by Sally Thorn. Uh, it was also a four star read for me. I really enjoyed it. It's enemies to lovers at work. Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson. DNF'd also. I could not really get into it because it was written in I think second person you 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 and was getting confusing and there are no names mentioned so you have to just sit down and read it once if you want to read it i don't know if i'm actually going to continue reading it <sighs> my friends say i should give it a chance again but i'm not so sure the vanda because of one around for the first treats this is the only physical book i read in december and i really loved it it's if you want christmas vibe family dynamics all those fun stuff in a family because they are a lot of children and their personalities i really love this book it was five star read for me christiana lauren the soulmate equation i think i gave this also a five star it's just a very very simple rom-com where their dna matches so they fell in love book lovers by emily henry i think this was a 4.5 star read for me love radio by ebony ladell this was a five star read for me no smart is ya so i really liked it <sighs> With the fire on eye this one was a five star read for me also the spanish love deception the american roommate experiment these two books are very very cute to be quite honest four stars this was five stars oh now we are getting to my calling uvas okay okay so ugly love five stars made me cry i love it regardless of what people say november 9 five stars also but now that i think about it i think it's not really five stars it's going to be like a four four point five confess was four point five stars never never by taryn fisher it was a four star read for me it talks about people that were kept on losing their memory every 48 hours it was so crazy hard bones was a four point five star one of my favorites it ends with us and it starts with us these two talk about domestic violence in a relationship and what happens after you know the struggles i really love this it was a five star 4.5 star sometimes i lie by alice finney this book was crazy the plot twist was mad okay i gave it a five star although now thinking back i feel like it was a 4.5 because of the ending it was just so weird so the non-fictions that i read tony tones books these two are very very good summary of most of the books that we see around the subtle art of not giving a fuck this was this one everybody should have read this book because it was so good like it just helps you realize that most of the things that you are crazy about uh do you really need to stress yourself atomic habits by james claire 
if you want to actually change your habits or inculcate new habits into your lifestyle this is a very very good book for you to read now let's go to the, the african literatures that i have chasing facade it's a girl detective and she's trying to solve a case and yeah wives are for rainy days and side chicks are for best days this was a very stupid crazy book but i really liked it, it was four stars pearl two stars sitting around your neck by chimamanda adichie this was actually a 3.5 stars for me i did not really really enjoy the book that much the sex lives of african women i dnf this at page 88 someday maybe i'm still reading this book i have two copies this is the paperback the artback is what i'm reading and i plan to keep i'm actually giving this one away so i don't know beneath the baobab tree by adao Trisha. it's about the chibok girls and the Boko Haram incidents that happened in nigeria honestly a very very good read in every mirror she's black this was a very present from kenny one of the red presents actually she gave me two books i've not read the second one uh this was a 3.5 stars it was so long that i felt like i wanted something else to happen but <sighs> They were not linking, but there's a book too. And out of curiosity, I'm going to read the book too. What happened to Jane Uzo? Oh my god. <laughs> this was the first African thriller that I've ever read. And it was actually really nice. I read it in one sitting, in one day. It was five stars when I read it. But now that I'm thinking back on it, I think it's more like a four stars. Wake Me When I'm Gone, Taduno Song, and The Cabal. These are two stars, but this was a four star read. Inka, where is your husband? This is a controversial book. I remember when I talked about it, that was one of my favorite books. My friend was like, really? The book was a very bad. Mm. I'm like, I liked it. It was funny and relatable. This one also five stars, a broken people's playlist. I can never forget the first story in this. I do not come to you by chance by Adobe Trisha. This was a 3.5. I felt like it was very long and a lot of details were not really necessary, but I still feel like it's gonna be a very, very good movie. And the movie is already coming out, so yeah. My sister, the serial killer, this was a four star read. It's crazy. The Return of Ether, this one was about a girl that slept and woke up in another person's body. It's like a fantasy. And it was a four star read. A Love of Convenience by Adesua Uman Uwakedi. This one was a four star read. Uh, it has a cheating trope, so beware, okay? Odufa, this was a four star read. This book stressed me out, but I still. I like it. The Three of Us. <laughs> this one, on, also another book that stressed me out, but it was a first star read. Lady Before You Are 30. I felt like this book was actually not really necessary. It was a three star read. So those are all the... Those are all these physical books I read. They are about 88 physical books. Now let's talk about the books I read on my Kindle. The Housemaid and the Housemaid Secrets. These two were five stars. I really like them. My roommate is a vampire. Honestly, I think this is a six star read for me because the more I think about this book, the more I, it makes me happy. The Mind Fox series by ST Habby. Oh yeah, five star. Five freaking stars. Everybody should read that book. The Sweetest of Livion, five stars. The Maddest Obsession, 3.5 stars. I preferred The Sweetest of Livion. I've not read the third one. Enemies to Lovers. This one was an arc I got on NetGalley and it was a four star read for me. Window Shopping by Tessa Belli. It was a 3.5 stars. It was actually interesting, but it was a little bit weird. A little bit because I could not picture the guy. All I wanted was sushi, but I got abducted by aliens. It is four stars. All I wanted was to become a scientist, but now I've got an alien boyfriend. That was a 3.5. Honestly, it was my least favorite for now because the series is still coming out. All I wanted was a glass of vino, but an alien duke kidnapped me instead. This was a five star read for me. Honestly, I loved it so much. I loved Rafael. Oh. this spells love four stars reminders of him by colin Hoover. five freaking stars that book was so good tearless is a book that was sent to me by the author this one was i i think between a 3.5 and a four stars so i'll give it like a 3.75 talk santa to me i dnf to this one at 13 percent because i was like what the heck is happening i i was not just getting into the story <sighs> snowed in 4.5 stars i really loved this one so much i loved it so much i'll talk more about it in my wrap-up video ice planet barbarians i just started that ice planet barbarians and the book two the two of them the book one was a five star for me the book two was a four stars for me it's this thing i'm going to explain in my wrap-up video so those are all the books i read in 2023 guys Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Tell me which ones you've read or you want to read uh, that you're crazy about. I really, really want to know so that I can get into them in 2024. So see you guys. Happy New Year. Deuces. Everything just went tumbling. And I have to pack all these. All the books I read in 2023. And I'm going to be showing you. Sharing you. Oh, God. 
Wait, what's happening? 